welcome back to Kathy Rain. My name is Dr. Knott, and today we've got a poem puzzle to solve. And the place to do it, of course, is the cemetery. Let's go. So I found a poem in the church, behind the painting, in a safe, from Elder Price, essentially. Isaac's father. We'll take a look at it again after uh, we get into this mausoleum. Because I think this is where we go to solve it. In the text, Father Bill's family members are used as reference points. That's right. Could he be referring to the physical layout of the graves? I believe so. I copy the grave layout to my notebook next to the poem. Ooh, nice. Okay, these graves must somehow correspond to Father Bill's poem. Let's see if I can figure it out. All right. I lie in the center of the mark of the Lord. My wife gazes down as my sons stand below. So Father Bill's here, so what do I do? Click center this. above below. Is he defining reference points on some kind of shape? Uh, if he's the center, what do you just click him? So he's the center of these four, right? Of the mark of the Lord. So I'm guessing it's a cross. Confirm selection. Ah, I see how it goes. Of course, the sign of the Lord. Some of the graves can form the shape of a cross. Catch up with us, Kathy. Now, if I can only figure out which dates are relevant. I witnessed three dawns. Felt warmth on my skin, their radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. These three? Radiant dawns? So they're births of the three that are not within the shape? Three dawns should be three birth dates, but I'm not sure if those are the right ones. No. No, he's also, he also has... Uh, Does he have three sons? Let's see. Barbara, Ernest, Joshua, and Isaac? Three dawns should be three birth dates. No. But I'm not sure if those are the right ones. So, oh, 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 wait. Is it the three around him? I witnessed three dawns, felt warmth on my skin. The radiant bronze lay nearby, not within, so maybe not his. But these three, Henrietta, Agatha, and Joshua? Yes, that must be it. Three dawns mean three births, and they're all adjacent to Father Bill's grave. Okay. I'm sure I'm close now. I just have to somehow narrow down these to the correct number of digits. So we need six digits to open up that safe. From east to west, which I'm going to interpret as right to left, I touched every soul from lasting to brief, their parts made me whole. So I'm guessing it's here, 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 and let's try like... From east to west, I'm gonna go maybe right, middle, left. I'm sure the year is correct, but I think I messed up the format for the day and the month. Okay, so what we did was year day month let's do year month day from lasting to brief all right year month day that's got to be it oh lasting to brief why did i say birth i was thinking okay wait what does that actually even say Where'd that poem go? Am I being an idiot? Beh, I don't know. Whatever. Lasting to brief. So we got it. So what is it? Let's just re remember it now. 61, 11, 22. Easy enough. Let's get out of here. So yeah, that makes more sense. Lasting to brief, which would be your month day longest or shortest not lasting to birth silly me all right so we'll go back to the church 
611122 opens the safe. And we'll have all of our answers, right? Probably. Here we go. I think things are going to go down here soon, so... Oh, we just left everything open, you know, whatever. Nobody's going to come around here, I, I think. 61, 11, 22. Yes! Found a bunch of torn out Bible pages and a tape in there. Another tape. Alright. Let's take a look at the Bible pages. The Mending. The Mending is the sacred unity with God and the only way to reach true salvation. The Crimson One, eh, hey, our bald friend, finds lost souls on behalf of God. Unshackled by time, he guides them and bestows wisdom upon them. He grants them dreams and visions, preparing them for the Mending. The living menders must then descend upon the Stairs of Judgment. Each step reflects a piece of their soul. Then they must face their shadow self, a servant of God, who will oppose them at every turn. Lastly, the mender shall perform the three holy sacraments. To unite with God, three holy sacraments must be performed. The atonement of the mother, the absolution of the father, and the contrition for the son. God shall then gaze upon the mender, weighing their heart. The worthy shall be cleansed of sin and be allowed to reach sacred unity. FB. The damned shall have their heart consumed and be cast into the abyss. JC LM JR. Question mark. Okay. The Crimson One. And then we found uh, this micro cassette, so combine that with this, and make sure we round it. Here we go. This is William T. Price. My visions concerning my sons are troubling. I've watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet, the Crimson One. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail-safe, should these predictions come to pass. I've hidden it so that only the true agents of the old God, selected by the Crimson One, may find it. Now, hear these words. You must stare into the abyss and let the abyss stare back into you. It's the only way to cleanse yourself of sin and achieve true salvation. May God be with you. And also with you. So the Quimson one. So we have to go to the abyss. Um, not sure what that is, but maybe our lunatic friend Isaac knows. Let's just keep everything open. You know, no big deal. We don't need to shut that. So I think we can go talk to Isaac because uh, we don't know where any abyss is. Oh, look at this. You can't even go back to the cemetery. So we're, they're slowly uh, boxing us in here. Let's go to the sheriff's station. I'm sure Lenny will let us in. And by let us, we'll not even notice that we walk in. We're probably the 12th time. Oh, wow. He. Yeah, we just walked right past. All right, Isaac. Tell us about the abyss. I have more things to say to you. Speak what you will, godless one. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, let's just go down these things and then we'll end with the, uh, dictaphone. Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. Wow, okay. I am partially blind today. Why did you destroy Lily's paintings? Is that what you think I did? They looked pretty ruined to me. Like an ignorant child, you look only to the surface and not on what lies hidden beneath. Are you implying that the paintings contain some hidden message? Oh yes, Lily was special in God's eyes. A chronicler, a bestower of wisdom. As an emissary of God, it is my duty to unlock the divine knowledge in her work for all of mankind. 
Well, that was a bit out of order because we've already done that. Maybe we were just playing Isaac. Yeah, oh, you mean there's something behind the paintings? Not the one that you didn't get to and the one that we know that you don't know, that we know about the drowning? Eh, psych! That's what happened there. What is your church really about, Isaac? What are you trying to accomplish? The same as any other church. All we want is the salvation of mankind. By any means necessary? Clearly kidnapping isn't out of the question. Unnecessary evil. I look at the bigger picture, the greater good. One day you'll understand. You are quite obviously brainwashed. I'll stop you, if it's the last thing I do. You can try, child. I have God on my side. It's for the greater good. The greater good. Who is the Crimson One? No one that concerns the likes of you. Wait, so you do know something about him? Certainly, but that knowledge is not to be shared with unbelievers. I feel like we've already had these conversations with him. Deja vu? Anyway. Listen to this, Isaac. This is William T. Price. My what is this? Concerning my sons are troubling. I've watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet, the Crimson One. The Crimson One. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail say. I don't believe it. Father saw all of this coming. God, have I strayed from the faith? Yeah. It's not too late to redeem yourself, Isaac. I've met the Crimson One. We are on the same side. Preposterous. No one has witnessed that apostate since Father's death. I've been north of the lake, but he's nowhere to be found. He abandoned us all, and the divine work now rests upon my shoulders. You believe that you are carrying out the work of the Crimson One? Don't think I can't hear that mocking tone of yours. I will speak of this no longer. He mentioned north of the lake. That's part of Conwell Woods. I'll probably have to narrow it down more, but it's something. Okay, so new location added. We need to narrow it down more. So it, is there a way to narrow it down before getting there? Father, have you abandoned me? I will atone for my sins. I swear it. God have mercy on me. You screw up. Also, how did we hear that? Uh, I guess we were like in the middle of walking out. Maybe we heard that on on the way out as we were opening the doors because it looked like we weren't in the room. And yet we heard that. Hey, Lenny, do you know anything? Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? The Crimson One. Probably you shouldn't ask you about this. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. I'm going to assume the same thing happens with the well, sheriff, gotta too. Go. See ya. So let's go. Who else? I guess there's our grandma. Is that the only person left in any of these locations? Nobody's at the church. Nobody's at the storage unit. Oh yeah, we can't even get to Conwell Woods yet. Maybe Nathan's back at the lakeside cabin? So these two places. Let's go here first. Because grandma's going to be unhelpful. We'll try anyway. Maybe Eileen woke up. Nope. Any change? Sadly not, dear. There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. Very well, dear. Probably not this. Have you heard about someone oh, okay. or something called the Crimson One? Goodness, dear. You're giving me the chills. I distinctly recall your grandfather mumbling that word in his sleep. Crimson. He did? After he had the injury? Yes, he rarely spoke at all, but that's the single word I can clearly remember. Strange. Strange indeed. That's all we can ask. How about this thing? I don't need to show her that now. Okay. Okay, that's all I need. Good luck out there. Alright, let's go see if maybe Nathan has some info, because... If not people, then then maybe we need to get info from objects. But what objects? So let's see if there are people before I start messing around with every single object at every place.
All right, just go inside. Hey Nathan, you still there? Cause you were randomly here. Nope. I mean, that's a bit creepy just to keep up there. Just take a look at it again. Nathan is drowning Lily in the lake. All right. Kathy's always so matter of fact. All right, so, um, nobody's around here. Let's start messing with things. I don't think this drawing's gonna help us. We need to get some more, another piece of info before we go to the. Yet another burial ground for those sweet, addictive, not to mention cancer-inducing sticks of tobacco. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, sounds delicious. All right. Oh, the owl actually. Very lifelike. No. Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe the owls are more than what they seem. Okay. What else we got out here? Thermometer. Hey, maybe we can take this finally. Our grandma said the red man's been giving her the chills. Maybe it's literal. Let's take it. Can we actually take it this time? It doesn't belong to me. I don't want to take it without a good reason. But but that's an option. Why can't we 55 take it? Fifty-five degrees. Not too chilly, thankfully. Um. Okay. What else is there? Let's take a look at these. Can we combine these? I mean, that's a, that's so fishy. Why is there an option to take it and we cannot take it? It doesn't belong to me. I don't want to take it without a good reason. So we need to find a good reason? Is that what I'm getting here? Grandma said it's chilly. It's chilly. That combination makes no sense. Just take the thermometer. I don't know what we need it for. Like nothing else is like everything else is look at and think about. Obviously, we can't take a lake, but can we swim here? Oh, gee, I would, but I forgot my swimsuit at home. Hmm. Father Bill must have wanted to hide these for a reason. Okay, let's look at these again. Can't click on any of these blue texts. We combine this. That combination makes no sense. No, but the option that we can take it makes me feel like I want to take it now. Um, just keep listening. So these predictions come to pass. I've hidden it. So that only the true agents of the old god, selected by the Crimson One, may find it. Now, heed these words. You must stare into the abyss, and let the abyss stare back into you. It's the only way to cleanse yourself of sin and achieve true salvation. May God be with you. Hmm. Uh, maybe we'll just go try it. Wait, no, we can't go there, right? Because it's not, like... But what would be a good reason we'd need the... the thermometer for? Beats me. Uh, alright, so let's think about this. Good reason for the thermometer. That's such an odd way... The fact that we can take it means we need to figure out why we would need a thermometer. Now, I can't go to any of these locations. I only have the lakeside cabin, the rain residence, and the sheriff station, and the storage facility. Go back here, I guess. Anything else in our grandfather's storage unit? Light switch. We'll turn it on before we can actually look at anything. Hmm, pile of junk, uniform. So that's where Grandpa's old uniform went. I wondered why I didn't see it in the attic. That's it, huh? Boxes? Just some old newspapers in those. Hmm. Oh, 
there's a key in this one? Oh, that's our. Oh, jeez. Yeah, oh. The door is opened by turning the key. Right, which means we can't use. Okay, we have this. Oh, because we got it from that. Uh, let's just keep it here. Now, the lockpick, I don't think we can do this, right? No can do. These are tricky locks. I don't want to accidentally jam them. Okay. Let's get out of here. Hmm, maybe we pl Oh, I don't think- pl Did we try playing the dictaphone thing to Grandma? Oh, maybe the Bible verses we can show her that? She's like the only Any person change? left, unfortunately. Sadly not, dear. To really talk to. The police officers I don't think will help us. There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. Very well, dear. I found these in the church. Do they mean anything to you, Grandma? Please, I'm Grandma. I'm not sure, Please. Dear. Is there anything in particular you'd like to ask me about them? Really? Maybe. I'll let you know if I think of anything. I mean... I already showed her that. Okay. I don't need to show her that now. Why are you not helpful? I don't need to show her that now. Just show her the paint thinner. Hmm. Okay, that's all I need. Good luck out there. Father Bill must have wanted to hide these for a reason. I already showed her that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the worthy shall be cleansed of sin and be allowed to reach sacred unity. FB. The damned shall have their heart consumed and be cast into the abyss. J C L M J R. We can't go back to the cemetery, so these aren't like grave sites. That action doesn't seem productive to me. No, but I mean, I'm at a loss right now. Do we combine it with this? That action doesn't seem productive to me. Hmm. We don't need this boot. I wish we could drop things. Do we have to... Oh, do we have to talk to Isaac about it? I guess technically... Hmm. I guess technically we didn't show Isaac the pages, right? We just played the, the dictaphone for him. So let's go do that. We're just like coming and going as we please. Don't worry about us. Isaac, tell me things. Tell me things about these things. Look what I found in the church, Isaac. Come to gloat, have you? That's right. I see that you've added stealing to your list of sins. Man, we already Honestly, knew that. Honestly, I just want to understand. What does it all mean? The mending? I don't believe you're sincere for a second. I will speak of this no longer. Dude, we're so sincere. Come on. I already asked him about that. No! I'm gonna... Then you! I already asked him about that. Damn it. That was... creepy, whatever it was. We've already done this. I did that already. Oh, we didn't play the whole thing for him. We didn't play the whole thing. This is William T. Price. My visions concerning my sons are troubling. I've watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet, the Crimson One. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail-safe, should these predictions come to pass. I've hidden it 
so that only the true agents of the old guard, selected by the crimson one, may find him. Now, heed these words. You must stare into the abyss and let the abyss stare back into you. It's the only way to cleanse yourself of sin and achieve true salvation. May God be with you. Stare into the abyss and let the abyss stare back into you. Alright, that's it. Can't figure it out. I'm blowing this place up. Yeah, that could work if I wanted to become a full-blown pyromaniac. I mean... Ooh, let's get him out of here. No, not on Isaac. Oh, he's on the jail cell. Can I do that? Eh. No, I can't. So this one I can only click Isaac. Here I can click jail cell. Dude, Isaac, want to break free? If you help me out? I'll need a key. I mean, just use this. I have better things to do than trying to steal random evidence. Alright, I'm at a loss. Here's what we're gonna do. Check the evidence bag. Nothing else in there. I'm gonna do a little brainstorming. I can't figure out... We need to somehow get the thermometer. Oh, that guy gave me the creeps. I wonder what his agenda really is. There must be some way of saving Eileen, or I won't be able to live with myself. I mean, think helpful thoughts. Yeah. I don't have anything to say about that. All right, all right. We need to figure out a way to show that we need that thermometer, I think. That's the only thing that we've run into consistently, where it's like, you know, take it, and then she's like, I'm not going to take it unless I have a reason for it. Which is stupid. You just take things. You never know when you need them. In my opinion. I guess we can go talk to the sheriff. Actually, let's talk to Lenny one more time. We'll talk to hey, these Lenny. two. If we don't get any leads... Hello, Kathy. Uh, What's up? I'll take a break. I don't want to show him that. I don't want to show him that. I don't know why not. Well, gotta go. See ya. So I'm at a loss as to what we're supposed to do. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? All ears. I don't need to ask him that. I don't want to show him that. I don't want to show him that. Kathy, you're killing me. I don't want to show him that. All right, never mind, sir. That's Sheriff. all for now. Good. I came and sat down on your chair, said I don't want to ask him that, or I don't want to show him that four times, and then I walked out. Because that's what we do in this joint. Oh, wait, we can go here now. Was that always... All right, let's go. Let's just take a look. All right, we got south. Oh, boy. Um, there's nothing else to click. Just four directions. Let's go north. How do we, like, what are we doing here? <laughs> We're just gonna have to figure out where to go in the woods? I'm just gonna keep walking north and see what happens. That way we can easily get back out, maybe? Oh. What the? How did I get back here? I must be going in circles. Let's go east now. Does this look familiar? Have we been here before? I feel like we have. Yeah, we can only go the, the four directions still. Yeah, so we can't interact with our scenery. Bet you we're gonna end up back where we started. 
There we go. Alright, at least, although we walk in circles, at least we can get back on our bike and head out. That was... Pointless. Let's try taking this thermometer one more time. If not, then I'll take a break, ponder what we know, and come back next time to then take the thermometer. It doesn't belong to me. I don't want to take it without a good reason. All right. Kathy's going to be like that. So, thank you for watching. When we return, I'll have convinced Kathy to take the thermometer. She's being really stingy about this one object about not stealing, but, you know, the whole, everywhere else we just go and just take things and, and sneak around and, and try to blow places up with paint thinner. She doesn't even want to do that. Ah. Okay, so. When we return, we're going to take this damn thermometer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.